report does not make for easy reading. It shouldn't make for easy reading. We should all feel profoundly troubled by the ongoing reality of sustained arbitrary detention and torture, cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment that continued since 2001, despite the unequivocal call by the Joint Study and other human rights bodies to bring an end to these practices. Counterterrorism discourses essentially justified the most egregious of human rights violations, from the practice of waterboarding to solitary confinement to the denial of medical treatment to physical harm to the bodies of those who are slapped across borders and then detained, many of them, for decades. No decent or humane society should accept that leaving their children in a situation of cradle-to-grave arbitrary detention is acceptable. All of these places of detention are, in my view, dark stains on our collective conscience. Those who planned, executed, or colluded in these grave violations have to be held accountable, despite the great desire to engage in a process of collective forgetting and a compact of comfortable amnesia on torture and rendition.